Welcome big dog. So today I'm going to show you how to pull out the force loads on a contact region. So specifically we want to pull out the forces at this interface so we can do our weld design analysis of our fillet weld. So let's go ahead and just look at the contact to see what we're dealing with here. So if we look at the contact we see there's a bonded connection or an NPC contact between those two faces and so we're pulling out the loads on that face which is what we want. So to do that we want to drag that connection into the solution and it will automatically create a force reaction definition type. And so it already has our thing selected except for the coordinate system. We want to use the weld CS coordinate system. We want to reference that when we pull out our loads. So we'll just go ahead and run it. And you can see that's the force actually acting on the face, which is what I'm going to use to do our weld processing. That's how I set up my spreadsheet. But we also want to pull out the moments because we're going to need those two. So go to probe and then moment reactions and then we'll have to manually select what we want to get. So go to contact region on that drop down and then select weld CS and then we want to select that contact region we want to pull it from. So let's drop it down and we'll select this one. That's what we want. So we'll go ahead and run the solution and see what we get. And so that's our reaction or our force acting on that face which is correct and then that's the moment reacting on that face which is correct if you look at the system as a whole so let's go ahead and just organize this a little bit better let's group these into uh, I guess one folder so we'll call it weld mint reactions so I'll be able to reference that later I also want to show that if you actually want the reaction force there's uh, you'll have to change this drop down or extraction box so in some cases you may want to do that so all it's going to do is just flip the direction of the load. So just go to extraction and select target underlying element and moment and do the same thing. You can see that's the force moment acting on the surface. We want the reaction just to show this, you know, for example. And so we change that and then we run it again. If we evaluate the results, those vectors should flip once it's done running and you can see that the magnitude or the directions flipped so now that's the force reactions and moment reactions so that's how you do it I hope you learned something I'll see you in the next video adios